Christina Sellers and welcome to my outdoor studio. I found this little roadway that seems almost like a secret passageway. So I'm going to take a trek down here and do a painting of the city. So in the background here is the Victor Emmanuel building and it's one of my favorite buildings in Rome. I've read that people really hated it when it first was built kind of like people hated the Eiffel Tower. Um, it's nicknamed the typewriter by some people and the wedding cake by other people and I like typewriters and wedding cakes so I guess that's why I like the building but anyways I hope I can do it justice in this painting. This road is called Clivo di Rocca Savella and when I chose this spot I had no idea how uh, noteworthy it actually is. Uh, apparently in 1285 Honorus IV was the new Pope and his home was at the top of the road here and it was actually a fortress and he decided to hold papal meetings at his own home instead of at the Vatican and so the most important people in Rome used to walk up this very street. One of the strategies I use when I'm plein air painting is to start with the darks first. And in this case, that was a very good strategy because the light and shadow pattern on the road is a key part of the painting. And I was really glad that I got that blo blocked in right away because um, it changed dramatically throughout the time I was painting. Behind me you can see these big stone walls and those walls used to be part of the fortress that the Pope lived in and at some point they dismantled the fortress and turned it into a, an orange garden and it's still an orange garden today. I have to chuckle a little bit when I go back and see myself painting because I'm concentrating so hard I wonder if people think maybe I'm a little bit grouchy but really I'm just hyper focused and the light is usually changing so fast that I, I have to concentrate um, really hard and um, I still love to visit with people when they come by so if you happen to run into me while I'm out there painting of course come say hi to me I love it just know that if I have a grouchy look on my face, it's just because I'm working hard and I'm doing my job. I found out that they lock the gate to this street at night, so I'm really glad I got out of there in time. Here I want to give some insight on why I have a sense of urgency when I'm out there painting. As you can see at the beginning, the colors are completely different and there's a, a different pattern of shadows and light and at the end all of that is just gone. What could be better than painting in Rome during the golden hour? This has been such a fun experience for me and after doing a little research and finding out what a significant spot this is, it's that much more meaningful to me. There's really no use continuing to paint because I've lost my light and um, it's a complicated painting. I'm going to add a lot more details back in my studio. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm done. Hey, thanks for coming along with me for this segment of my outdoor studio. To see more of my finished paintings, visit christinasgallery.fineartstudioonline.com. <laughs>